What up Wolves, Blade Master here. You're watching the Wolf of Remus Total War channel and this is going to be the second of the three battles that I fought against uh, Kratos from the Sith clan. And uh, the first one, I, I'll put the first one um, in the description. I don't want to give anything away. And um, yeah, let's just move on to, this, uh, to uh, talking about this battle. In this one, I've taken Rome and Kratos has taken Armenia. And we're fighting in the map of Dimity and uh, we can see that... Um, well, let's pause. This is going really quickly. Um, Kratos has taken uh, four horse archers with Armenia, and he's uh, he's deployed them right up in front, and then uh, left his main line all the way at the back, which is you know it's a smart strategy and a strategy that I see more and more people using. Maybe it's just that I'm fi I'm playing better players these days. Anyways, um, with Rome, I've taken uh, I've gone pretty cab heavy. I mean, comparatively cab heavy. Um, I've taken one auxiliary cab and one uh, legionary cab on either flank. So a total of four melee cav, and then I've also brought a couple of auxiliary Numidian cav, and uh, I've also brought two auxiliary infantry. Now these, uh, you know, they cost four hundred talents, and they are pretty armored. I mean, pretty well armored for their price. Seventy-five armor along with fifty health is not bad at all, and uh, since they have the discipline trait like every other Roman unit, they they have pretty decent morale. So. Um, I'm immediately running after his uh, his horse archers because my cav are pretty well armored as well. 70 armor on my uh, legionary cav, uh, 70 on auxiliary cav, which is kind of surprising. Okay, um, but yeah, that's probably not the greatest idea. I was just being really aggressive uh, so that I wouldn't give him uh, enough time to just get regular, you know, just easy shots on my uh, cavalry. I've spread them into thin lines and I'm chasing him off, but I'm also bringing my auxiliary infantry also to support. So ideally, these guys, uh, these auxiliary infantry would be used um, as, a, as arrow fodder, which would be the perfect role. Besides them, I've gone with a pretty strong uh, melee infantry corps. I've brought a couple of legionary cohorts on my flanks. And then I've brought a base uh, of three Avocadi cohorts and one Hastadi up in front. Finally, I've brought a total of three auxiliary Syrian archers and one Velites unit. And uh, one general and bodyguard unit as well. Sorry, I've brought two Velites. So one on either flank, kind of. So um, let's, that's the end of my uh, Roman build. We can see that he's brought four, uh, Kratos has brought four uh, horse archers. They, they cost 400 talents, and one thing to note is that they don't have the, uh, uh, no, actually, no, they're, they're pretty similar to mercenaries, Scythian horse archers. Uh, they're always a very, very good unit to, uh, to bring, even though they're slightly more expensive than uh, Scythian horse archers, they're still very good. Um, besides them, he's brought, uh, he's gone very cab heavy, melee cab heavy. So he's brought uh, two Noble Blood Cav and one Mercenary Cappadocian Cav on his uh, flanks. And then he's gone with the base uh, melee infantry line of four Cartley Axemen and four Eastern Archers behind them. So this main line is very reminiscent of the, uh, the, 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 uh, Armenia, sorry, the uh, Armenian army that I brought against Armenian King. And we all know how that went. If you haven't seen it, then uh, just check my previous videos. I'll probably link that uh, link that battle in the description as well. And finally, he's brought one noble spearman general. So pretty surprising to see he hasn't brought any royal cataphracts. Um, I was honestly expecting him to bring some royal cataphracts or at least some eastern cataphracts, considering how powerful they are. Here we can see uh, he's getting pretty aggressive with his horse archers, and now my uh, auxiliary infantry are just going to you know uh, corral them off. Um, they have really great shields and uh, really big shields as well and uh, on top of their base armor they're uh, perfect for you know absorbing missile fire um, but my uh, Numidian uh, cavalry are not um, like that they don't have great shields they don't have any armor 15 armors I think that's that means that they are uh, they basically have no armor um, they do have shields which help them somewhat but uh, you know you definitely don't want them. you can see that wow this is really cool though they are like wicker shields I think so um, definitely not the sturdy sort of uh, shield that you want uh, them to have. So that's why you need to keep them away from uh, horse archer fire especially. Let's uh, fast forward a little bit. So before the actual battle starts, based on this regular uh, melee infantry line, I would predict that I can win this. Although what could be really surprising and what could be a nasty surprise for me is these cartly axemen. The thing is. They have that 26 weapon damage, of which 13 is armor piercing, and against my heavily armored Roman line, that could be uh, quite a nasty uh, surprise. But I, I still think the power of Evocardis would be too great, and they probably just crush these Cartley Axemen. And on top of that, my Syrian archers should be really good as well. They will uh, just slaughter those uh, four Eastern archers, despite the fact that he's got a numerical advantage. Um, four uh, auxiliary Syrian archers with their great armor uh, should be more than enough to kill them off. 
And finally, I've brought two Velites. Now, you might be wondering why have I brought like uh, Javelin units? And that's because Javelin units are just excellent at destroying cavalry. So as long as I can support and you know just bog down his cavalry with my rather inferior cavalry, one legionary and one uh, auxiliary cavalry each, um, and you know use my spearmen to support, and then bring these units to um, you know start picking them off, the cavalry flank should be mine in you know in no time, which would be great because I would be able to win the infantry fight. I mean that's what I'm predicting. But here we can see he's moving up with his eastern arches and. Um, they're going to start getting uh, shots uh, from my, uh, getting shot at by my auxiliary Syrians. Uh, you can see he's gone immediately for my general and bodyguard, which is a smart move on, on his part. You can see that he's already got one kill uh, off of them, but I'm moving up with my Hastadi. I put my guys on to uh, Testudo just in case, and it's not like they would get many casualties from uh, you know Eastern Archer fire in any case. So here I'm pulling up with my Velites, and um, they're going to start firing into this general blob. Um, they have, you know, pretty decent uh, shots per minute as well. You know, seven shots per minute is much, much better than, you know, like bringing an archer to support. And, um, you know, javelins obviously have great armor piercing. And against these heavily armored noble, uh, noble blood cav, that could be pretty deadly. So you can see they're starting to get some kills. Six. Uh, one more thing about, um, you know, uh, javelin units is that it seems like they, they do a lot of friendly damage too. Which uh, could be, you know, something to um, make note of. I mean, it could, is, might be just my opinion and uh, have no base in reality, but I don't know, that's just what I feel. Here, his noble spearman is going to charge into my auxiliary cav. Meanwhile, my velites are going to start firing into these guys. Now, they have very good armor and that's going to be perfect uh, bait for my javelins. And this is a really blocky formation. So, I think that's like perfect for my javelins to start picking them off. You can see they've already lost like 10 men. And uh, now the main infantry engagement is about to start. My Hastadi have attacked these Kartli Axemen. Of course, they've taken a bunch of damage from those uh, uh, Eastern Archers. But meanwhile, my Auxiliary Syrian Archers are doing a great job picking them off. Uh, my Velites have started to waver, but you can see they've already got one um, experienced Chevron. That's because they've just slaughtered this, this, uh, this line. His uh, Mercenary Cappadocian Cav is down to 16 men. His Noble Blood Cav have like 50 men left. And uh, he's got two Horse Archers who's, who've got one deadly volley onto my General Bodyguard. Um, killing off four of my uh, units, but now these Syrian archers should be more than enough to just destroy them. And I think so far it looks pretty, uh, you know, it looks like it could go in my favor. Um, these Evocaris are attacking these Kartli Axemen. We can see how well these are Kartli Axemen can do. Uh, they've already got 52 kills, but that's from Hastadi. Um, but these Kartli Axemen are just are doing much better than I expected. You know, 107, uh, I mean, they've killed, you know, quite a few Evocaris already, um, which is really surprising. And uh, these Avocaris are just getting slaughtered. I, I have no idea what went on over here. Uh, but these Kartli Axemen just destroyed them. Like, I was really surprised when the game uh, was played that, you know, these Avocaris just got just smashed. Like, I, I, really, I really didn't get that. I mean, I got pretty clear charges onto all of those Kartli Axemen. So I don't really know what happened over there. But these Noble Spearmen are getting charged at by my, one of my Legionary cohorts whom I kept in the flanks. And uh, that's not going to be very good for his, um, his Noble Spearmen at all. But my cavalry flanks have uh, been destroyed. I have one extra Numidian uh, cav left, but he's got like three, uh, you know, basically full strength noble blood cav here, um, who are going to be able to destroy my, uh, you know, my velites and stuff if I don't take care of them. Um, so you can kind of see what my, you know, the effect of the velites on that uh, battle. It was basically the same flanks. Uh, you know, uh, fighting against each other, except I brought one extra Velites to support and then those guys just slaughtered, like they helped so much, 65 kills on them, all on cavalry. And now this uh, Noble Blood Cav is going to attack my gen, which is not good for me, they're basically dead, but um, meanwhile my, you know, Syrian archers are going to get some good shots off here. Hopefully it'll be enough to kill those guys off, but what I was really surprised of was my Evocardis just getting slaughtered there. And that basically lost me the game, I think. Um, these Evocardis have gotten attacked in the rear, they've done much better, I really don't know what happened there. Um, but yeah, those guys got slaughtered. That was a big part of my army gone. These Evocaris, now that they're going to, uh, they're going to kill off these uh, noble blood cab, I think, because they still, they still have a lot of men left. The other Evocaris have done much better. Um, and but now he's just getting a lot of rear charges off, and hopefully this morale penalty won't be too much. If they can stay in extended combat, then I think those Evocaris could grind out something out of this, uh, out of this game. Um, but you know, just in terms of numbers, it looks like I, I am edging the. Um, the infantry side of the battle, but he's got so many, uh, you know, cav units left that um, he could just destroy my army by simply, you know, continuously rear charging or just charging my more vulnerable units, like he's doing over here. 
so avocados still have some basically i'm <laughs> i'm i'm only hoping for the uh, the power of these avocados to stay in and fight to try and win me this battle it's not looking good for me uh, this legionary cohort because it doesn't have great morale is, uh, has wavered and now it's routed and now i'm basically left with two avocados and one uh, auxiliary stay in archer who have done really well 234 kills with a double chevron on them so <laughs> they did really well um, I have one uh, Numidian Cav which uh, you know which got attacked by those horse archers and uh, they've managed to win that fight but it's not like they're going to do much more. Um, surprisingly these Avocadis are just lasting. Well actually not surprisingly, unsurprisingly those Avocadis are lasting because we know how, how strong they are. Um, they've been, they're just getting smashed from all sides by a mixture of cavalry and armor piercing infantry and they're just staying there, they don't care, <laughs> they'll just keep getting their kills. Um, he's losing more and more of his cavalry, but he's got, you know, two full strength, uh, well not full strength, two half strength cavalry. And that's going to be more than enough, I think, to kill off the rest of my troops. Uh, my last auxiliary Syrian archer has died. They did a really good job. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be my Evokari cohorts now left. This uh, one is starting to waver. It's got 132 kills, almost a double chevron. And yeah, that one's done. It's basically just one more Evokari left. The other one's, the, the other Nomidian cav is starting to waver. And as you can see, the battle timer still lasts for a minute, and that's because we can keep fast forwarding. But they, they fight to the last man. I have no idea how these units are just so strong. Um, yeah, I mean, 60 health and 66 morale. That's I mean, those are really good stats. But 65 morale shouldn't be so strong that they la they fight to the last man. Anyways, good game to um, good game to Kratos. And a really fun fight. I have no idea what those Cartley Axemen did, but they got 180 kills with a double uh, chevron. I don't know what I did to make them do so well. Um, but besides that, you know, I think I started the game okay, and uh, I had the right army. I think my army uh, composition was pretty good. You can see some of these Velites did their job, like 65 kills on one, and it really turned that that side of the fight uh, in my favor. Maybe sh I shouldn't have just. I sh probably shouldn't have just bothered bringing Cav. Should have just brought some uh, Triaria as well. But my auxiliary Syrian archers were a good pick. Uh, should have brought. Uh, that's a good, um, you know, uh, good on me for bringing them. Hastadi didn't really do too much, and I didn't expect them to do too much. But yeah, my Avocadis kind of let me down, and uh, so did my legionary cohorts. But yeah, fun game and uh, good game to Kratos. Uh, anyways, guys, that's the end of this battle. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, stay tuned for more. Peace.